Right guys, welcome back to Resident Evil Dead Aim. When we last left off, we were fighting this big ugly bastard. And uh, he's not a pretty boy. Let's say that. And he can certainly take shotgun shells to the face like an absolute unit. But, uh, okay, that's our problem to deal with. Ooh. There we go. That's what he wants. That's what he wants. He wants to be shot in the face uh, until he falls down and then shot in the back. We've got 28... Oh, God. 28 shotgun shells left. Just over. That's not that good, actually, is it? Um, we don't even have that many. Hang on bullets left, which is, again, not ideal. It looks like we've got some over here, though. All right, come on, Brucey. Harvest those motherfuckers up, please. Thank you. Good man. Oh, okay. He's still quite far away. Oh, God. Okay. Managed to avoid him there. Uh, so, tapping X at the right time does indeed cause him to go down. Ooh. Oh. Okay, he actually was not that tough. Huh. Well, Mr. Tickles went down easy. Coffee time. I forgot how we actually got off this ship. Ooh. Yeah, well... I guess that's one way to take out the majority of the virus. Hmm. Creepy abandoned research facility, I'm guessing. Well, I would expect nothing less from Resident Evil. Yeah, maybe not run towards that obvious lightning. Morpheus. Yeah. Yeah, obviously um, not something you really want to advance upon. Uh, Bruce, me old mucker. Now, unfortunately, we can't explore a the buildings above us, which would have been pretty cool. Hey, a map of the water. Oh, God, hang on. I remember the waterways. If I remember the waterways half as well as I... Hey, her save room. I was hoping it was. Half as much as I think I do. Pretty sure that means lots of hunters. Um, you know what this game would have kind of benefited from, actually? Believe it or not, I think this game would have benefited from a item box system. Because we're full of weapons, which is cool, but we don't really need... I wish there was a way to better manage our ammo. I mean, I guess we fill up on the 9 millis, but... Ugh, not great, is it? That doesn't give us many bullets anymore. Yeah, so we can only hold, say, 105 rounds. It ain't great, to be honest. Mythedly, it could be worse. Seems to be a report of some kind. I was getting worried that we couldn't read that. Biological report. This is a survey report on the changes to the BOWs, which have been considered failures and have been disposed of in this facility. Oh, good. 
Torpedo kids. Wait, what? Uh, I can make a joke there, but it's not really worth it. Uh, April 7th. The unknown water creatures are increasing rapidly, primarily in the drainage ditch. Since their body fluid contains strong acids, they are extremely dangerous to touch. I named them Torpedo Kids since they swim like torpedoes. Oof. April 9th. I've learned that there is a mother that spawns all of the Torpedo Kids. <laughs> If I could find this mother and kill her, I'll be able to exterminate all creatures in this area. April 16th. I've decided to try and exterminate the torpedo kids. And so I explored the drainage ditch in order to destroy their mother. However, the torpedo kids appeared to try and protect their mother and badly injured me. Now they've extended their territory to my place. I must find a way to get rid of them. Who is that? Who's saying these things? You see a worn and battered notebook here. June 16th, 1997. One month has passed since I was dispatched here. I'm astounded at the sloppy uh, supervision of this umbrella waste disposal facility. It is not surprising that this incident happened. <clears throat> I know that if I must die, I want to die as a human. The supervisor here called Morpheus is an so annoying. He drives me nuts. He must pay more attention to worker health management and biological weapons than anybody I have ever met. This facility belongs to Umbrella, but he obviously doesn't think so. I have no idea how long I've been here. I don't want to stay in this facility, but I can't move. My body won't move. Hmm. Okay, this is some bad voodoo going on in this place. I mean, it's an Umbrella uh, facility, so of course there's some bad voodoo going on. Anyway, I'm going to save this game, and this is where I'm going to leave it for today. Not that that's going to matter to you guys, because I have to go pick up me woman from work. I had to think there for a minute. So, right, quick break in the video for you guys, and for me, I shall pick this up again tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Why was I going to do an outro there? Okay, and we're back guys. Right, so we have just crashed the Spencer rain Into this uh, Kind of some sort of facility umbrella facility of course because of course it is um, And it looks like Morpheus survived, but then so did we So we can't really complain too much. So let's explore Lore. Ooh, there's some horrors going on in this place. Looks like some kind of uh, torpedo kid action going on. There's definitely been some experimentation. So let's delve deeper. You ready, Bruce? Oh, man. Oh, man. Uh, we're going to have torpedo kids in here, aren't we? Can we actually go across the other way? Do we have to go into the water? Of course we have to go into the water. Because there is a tiny little metal fence there that is insurmountable by our friend Bruce here. We also have zombies in the water. This is excellent. We like zombies in the water. Okay, okay. So we have the back passage. We have another passage. We have lots of passages here. Okay. Alright, Bruce. Well, you didn't want to live forever, did you, buddy? Now that place is locked off. Hey, there's a door there. I'm guessing that's just a fake door that we can't actually go through. Hmm. Hmm. Well, it's all quiet so far. Not a lot of action going on. These naked zombies here are kind of making me question. Just how quiet this place is going to be in a few minutes. Right, come on, Brucey. Let's keep going. Now... Oh, we have zombies. Excellent. I was going to say, it feels like we're all alone here. But no. Our friend, the undead hordes... Oh, you heard me. Bruce. That wasn't very stealthy now, was it, Bruce? But that's okay. A shot to the dome. Oh, this gentleman dropped something for us. Uh, herbal medicine's fine. 
Yeah, it's interesting that we can hold as many like health items as we want. No fucks given whatsoever. But more than a couple of handgun bullets? Oh, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. That's not allowed. Oh. Yeah, it definitely sounds like there's something in the water, Brucey boy. Well, we should come and investigate that in a minute. Let's keep going this way for now. One place at a time. Also, this game feels like it's running at um, 60 FPS right now, which is interesting. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's the torpedo, kids. There's the torpedo, kids. Now, I can't remember how they attack. Whether they um, move forwards in a straight line or if there's something a little bit more to it. Let's have a look at our grenade launcher, actually. Uh, unfortunately, as cool as it is to get another weapon, that's another weapon that's going to use up valuable space. So, unless at some point the handgun becomes obsolete, which I can't really see happening, and we get enough shotgun shells to live on those, uh, we're going to run into problems. This launcher fires six grenade rounds from a revolving chamber. Mm hmm. Very nice. All right. Um. Well. I guess there is a big, ugly, tumorous thing. Uh. Is it going to, like, regrow? Is that it? No, it's dead. Okay, I... Well... That couldn't have been the creature that we'd heard so much about earlier. Surely not. I mean, come on now. Don't be playing with me. Well, at least we went around the outside and actually avoided it. So that was the thing that definitely happened. Okay. <laughs> Let's see if we can find uh, Fong. She's got to be around here somewhere. I don't think she was horribly incinerated in the uh, explosion. Ah, zombies. Probably should have used the silence handgun for this, actually. Yeah, don't want to uh, aggro all of these guys. Oh, dear. Right, there we go. There we go. Crawl your ass over to me, boy. You look so silly, sir. Oh, God. Right, he's down. Oof, we really have to make every bullet count here. And that was a really cool animation of him getting back up. Uh-oh. Ooh, that was about as close as it gets. Right, let's be a little bit careful with this now. Almost feels like this gun doesn't have much range to it. But it should. Ooh. Another herbal medicine, I guess. Yeah, I mean, sure. Why not? Come on, buddy. Get your ass up. Kind of tempting, actually, to go back and get some more bullets. But... Uh, we should be okay for now, I suppose. I mean, we have 20, 25 bullets. We've got a lot of guns, to be fair. We've got a lot of handguns, to be fair. Oh. Magnum rounds. Uh, yes. Wait a minute. Oh, they're grenade rounds. I was going to say, we don't have a revolver. The hell? So we've got some magnum rounds, I suppose. Do you think the game's throwing enough health at us? Um... Right, coast looks clear. I'm going to guess there's more than one of those, like, Torpedo Kid mother things. Because that thing was way... Yes. There's another one there. Um, Right, we could technically sidestep it, I suppose, but... I can go through there. And there's also a lift around the corner. Right, so they don't actually directly attack us. Which is really freaking weird. So we can just stand here and literally avoid that thing. 
No, we can't. Okay. No, okay. I assume too much. Right, yeah, they do kind of disappear and fade into nothing. Which is fine. We can handle that. Um, can we actually hit it from over here, though? That's the question. Oh, God. Uh, maybe not. They don't appear to do too much damage. Right, let's rush this thing, then. Stick this down its throat. Oof, we're getting hurt. Oh, danger. Oh, let's take some of these herbal pills. Run! Run, run, run. Okay, so they do kind of home in on us. Just a little bit. Alright. But we can just literally kind of stand here. Huh. Well, they're not much to worry about, are they, Brucey? Let's be fair here. Motherfucker's a bit of a joke. Um, we could... No. Uh, no, no, no. I don't really want to go all the way back there. I don't think we've missed anything. I mean, that's the passage there, but we've already been through there, I think. Where's the... Yeah, we came around there and killed that one. No, I don't think we've been down this passageway. Although, there probably isn't anything down here, apart from zombies. But, I can stand to waste a few zombies. And to be fair, zombies do drop things, so, you know. It's worth hunting them all down. There's no rooms here. Really? Really, game? You're just, you're just gonna give me a whole load of fucking nothing. Ah... Never mind, Bruce. I still stand by the fact it was worth the look. Yeah, those torpedo kid things are really rubbish enemies, actually. I mean, I don't think Resident Evil has had many stinker of uh, enemy types. Well, I mean, technically the molded in Resident Evil 7 weren't exactly, you know, interesting. But those torpedo kids, man, they're... They're pretty rubbish, actually. I mean, well, I guess Bandersnatches weren't exactly brilliant either. But at least Bandersnatches felt Resident Evil. I don't know what those things feel like. Ah, looks like we've got some light reading. An old radio. You might be able to contact HQ with this. Use the radio. Uh, yeah, we will, but let's check the documentation first. No, nothing. Okay, game. Cool. Well, that seems like a stupid decision, to be fair. Uh. Well, his brain is hanging out. <laughs> uh, he's not a very threatening enemy, is he? He kind of looks funny. Uh. <laughs> okay, cool game, cool. I like it. Well, from what I can remember of that thing, isn't he, like, blind or something? There's a map of the waterways, that's good. Cool. Alright, Fong, let's go. Now, what have we got? We've got the back passage. We're going down the back passage. Can we go back this way? We actually can. Uh, okay. Oh, we can go to the control room. Wait a minute. That's the save room. Uh, we're actually fairly healthily stocked. Kind of. Okay. Alright then. Well, I mean, I guess we don't need to go back to the save room then. Let's keep going. Let's go see if we can find the creature from before is still around. It's too dangerous to go this way. Oh, okay. Then, well, I guess we're going this way then. 
All right. So that creature with his brain hanging out. He kind of looks very much like a discount uh, Resident Evil creature. For absolute sure. Oh. Hey, guys. How do you do? So, um, we've got the control room. I mean, I guess we can go back and save it just for prosperity. And maybe pick up a pack of ammo whilst we're going. You know, might as well top up, I guess. Oh, it's locked. Sector Really? Bruce, you dick. You absolute dick penis man. Why did you lock the frickin' door behind you? I mean, come on, man. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous, Bruce. Oh, okay. Though it's not a guaranteed one-hit kill, then. Even if they de can't detect you. Right, he's down. Something is breathing in here. Is it those zombies making that sound? I mean, that's a pretty creepy sound. Are you going to get up, sir? Do I have to shoot you in the penis? Nah, he's down. Yeah, that's... Oddly creepy, actually. Ah, it's you making all that bloody racket. Come on, Fong. Let's see if we can... Yeah, well, okay. You didn't exactly put him down, but... Get up, buddy. Come on. That's it. I'll send you on to the next world. Ooh, get up, pal. Come on. Your stench is offensive. Delicate nose like Bon Ling has. At least I assume she'd have a delicate nose. Probably into aromatherapy, you know. Not that there's anything wrong with aromatherapy. I love that shit. Alright, cool. No torpedo kids around here, which is good. Um, I would like to make... Oh, is there something in the corner there? Yeah, I guess there is. Alright, friend, what have you got here? Oh, facility... Really? Okay. So the freaking key that we needed was literally just around the corner. Um... Electronic lock on the door. Wait. So, I guess this isn't exactly where Bruce was then. Because we didn't have these fantabulous electronic lock doors. And we didn't have all of these zambles either. But then, I suppose there were a few zambles in the water. Right. Let's go through. Oh, no. No, this is actually a different room. Okay, I'm talking shit, guys. Ignore me. Um, so, we can now come into here. We've got a good few bullets. I'm really tempted, actually. Let's just waste these last eight bullets off. There we go. Much better. Right, what have we got to fiddle with here? This appears to be a panel controlling the electronic lock for this sector. Release the electronic lock. Uh, yes. Yeah, I was expecting that zombie to get back up. Really? So you collect the key that he's, like, for the door that he's right next to. You have to come all the way back down here just to push a frickin' button. All right, Zamble. You know, are you even worth killing? That's my question right here. Are you worth killing? You took three bullets, sir. Bye. Oh. Oh, man. All these zambles are getting up. Well, I mean, we're not going to kill all of them because that does seem to be a bit of a waste. Unless. Are they actually going to come? Oh. I thought he was getting up then. Can these zambles actually climb stairs? Let's have a look for science. Um, they cannot, apparently. Wow, you guys are stupider than I gave you credit for. 
I'm not even sour about that. Oh, Twitch aim, come on. I'm used to playing Call of Duty at the moment. Just finished Call of Duty World War II last night. Took me about f um, four weeks, a month to get through it. Yeah. Oh, come on. Come on, line those shots up, man. Woman, thing, human. Oh, my kingdom for a freaking grenade. You know, let's just go here. Oh, dudes. Hello. There we go. Let's go pop some melons. <laughs> Look at them. <laughs> uh, how can you take Resident Evil seriously? I'll tell you what. Those zombies look pretty freaking good, though. I mean, the environments in this game aren't exactly... You know, they haven't aged that well. But these zombies look pretty badass. The hunters look awful. They look like the cheapest discount hunters. You know, like if you brought a, a hunter figurine from a dodgy marketplace. That's kind of what it looks like. Whereas those zombies look pretty good. In fact, all of the enemies in this game so far have looked pretty uh, questionable. Apart from those zombies. Right, let's grab that. Yeah, the hunters really do look stupid, though. Yeah, it's got to be said. Like, I don't know anybody that can defend the hunters in this game. They look pathetic. They almost look like cuddly toys. Come on. There's such a dead zone on this analog stick. Which I think was actually like the thing of the time. You know what, dude? Just get down. Get down with the sickness, sir. Don't really want to waste too much bullets thinking about it. Um, right, so we've got a waterway down there. I'm guessing we can't go through these. Gate 33. Yeah, rusted sluice gate is shut. That's cool. Fair enough. All right, Fong. Well, we've um, eliminated that. And this water would not be fun to walk around in. This juicy body slurry that we're walking through here. You're going to want a good shower later, that's for sure. Uh, right, yeah, well, sluice gate. Ah, we've gone the wrong way. That's fine. At least we've aggroed a lot of the fucking zambles through here, so... I mean, I guess that served a purpose. You can get fucked, pal. Oh, wow, there's a couple of you, isn't there? Ooh! Nope, 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 nope. Hands off the ass. Don't touch this fine ass. Uh, yeah, we might have to thin the herd here a little bit. At least we've got a good amount of bullets. Oh, come on, dude. I mean, seriously. You think these fucking bullets grow on trees? Ugh. I guess we could use the machine gun. Because <coughs> the machine gun's pretty rubbish. At least it feels rubbish. I think that's another criticism I have of this game as well. The weapons really don't feel good. You know, Resident Evil's quite well known for its juicy weapons. Juicy weapons, man. Or should I say meaty weapons and juicy enemies? And you just don't really get that here. Right, come on, dude. How greedy do you want to be? Come on, let's go for the crit. I mean, I suppose they kept the random crit chance in for the handgun. Which is cool. I can approve of that. There we go. Alright, that's not bad. Even if some of those get back up. We've thinned the herd quite nicely. Oh, right. oh fuck you, game. Fuck you. Alright, let's take our business elsewhere, Fong Ling. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's cool. It only takes a couple of bullets to fuck their legs up, to be fair. I mean, not that he's got a lot of bloody leg meat left anyway. Yeah, you guys can fuck off. Really don't want to waste all of this ammo on you. So I've got a feeling we've got that big juicy boy to fight. In fact, I'm, I'm sure we have to fight that big juicy boy. I mean, it's Resident Evil. But I can't remember if we fight him with Fong or we fight him with Bruce. 
I mean, Bruce has the better weapons. That's for sure. Oh, we don't have a map of this place. Spoopy. Heliport. That sounds like somewhere we want to be. Ah. Why is my boss sense tingling? Um... Iron cannon? So they have an orbital laser. Because of course they do. Uh... The fuck? I mean, sure, why not, yeah? Why not? Does seem to be a little bit extreme. So that was a Chinese satellite trying to kill her? The fuck? <laughs> Dude. Really? Seem a bit OTT. The government seems to care an awful lot about where you are. Not even their best agent, which makes you expendable. What are you going to do? I'll continue my mission. Morpheus will live up to his end of the deal, even if we pay. But the people of China are still in danger. Oh, and since you saved me this time, I think I should say thanks. Don't mention it. I'm a Don Gua. Uh. Might want to look that up, buddy. Yeah, so... The Chinese government were going to rub her out with a freaking laser from space. Um, I mean... Y yeah, sure. Cool. I mean, it's Resident Evil, I suppose. We've had rail guns. I mean, even for Resident Evil, that takes a biscuit just a little bit. You know what I'm saying? You know... She's doing her job, and the government decides to fuck her over by pay, and then, you know, let's just bust out the giant freaking ion cannon in space to just squash her like a bothersome fly. Even for Resident Evil, that, that's pretty freaking extreme. I like it. <laughs> that's really fucking funny. I like it. And, you know, me and Jimmy have spoke about this before. It's things like this. This is why you can't take Resident Evil seriously. Because the pure ridiculousness of it. And please, Resident Evil, don't ever change. So, thanks for watching, guys. When we come back, I guess we're going to continue exploring uh, this underground water facility. And I guess at some point we're going to run into Mr. Brain. You know, brain case, dude. With no eyes. Seems to me like he's pretty blind. Because... No eyes. Um, so, thanks for watching, guys. Until next